Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Kukat's Quest here, the case of Cud. Um, today I said I wanted to go check out the new historic site that we found last episode. And we're going to start here in the still and just hand in some stuff. Uh, like the Reshef floor, for example, we have two pieces for 9,000 XP. Not bad. With that in mind, we actually may have enough XP to level up, depending on what books we have. I don't think we have many books, but one of them is Illuminated, which gives 2000 XP on its own. So I think this might be just about enough to do it. Perfect. We get our attribute point there as well. What do we want? We're going to need at least 23 intelligence for Tinker 2. Don't think we should level intelligence. Uh, similarly, strength. We have doubled muscled, really, for, for leveling up our strength. So it's really between toughness, willpower, and ego. I don't think willpower is worth it just yet, since we really don't have many abilities that we're using. Uh, or many mutations that rely on cooldowns. So, Ego could be good for things like Snake Oiler, which is something I want to work towards. Although it won't help us in combat. Hmm. And since we're a Chimera, we'll also get no bonus from our Ego being high. In terms of uh, having mutations. So, you know, we could go Toughness. We could get plus 3 Toughness for some extra health. In the long run, it may be worth it. Why not? There you go. We got like 20 something, 21 extra health from that. And every level, time we level up now, we'll get slightly more health. So that's fine. Now, we do kind of want Charging Strike. Um... We get an automatic daze. We can also get backswing, which is very good as well. Whenever you make a cudgel attack with your primary hand, which we're not going to... Ah, uh, actually, it's not that good with multi-weapon fighting. Primary hand only. That's a shame. Similarly, saving for conk, aka bonk, would be fun. Um, and slam is also really fun, just for knocking people through walls and things. I think we'll grab uh, we'll grab charging strike. I'm a bit sad about backswing. I actually didn't realize it was primary hand only. Um also, did we ever finish the multi weapon fighting tree? We did finish it. Okay. Good stuff. We'll grab charging strike for now. And then for our next thing, we're going to go carapace like I said last episode. This is going to give us one extra armor. All of these resistances are going to help us out a whole bunch if we make it to Bethesda Sousa as well. So I can't be upset about that. Next, we'll probably focus a bit more on Horn and Double Muscled. Alright, pretty happy with that. Uh, we also have some books here that I... Honestly, I'm going to give all of these books in right now because... I want to grab this chest and take this with us back to Ezra. Now, I don't remember who the heck we actually have here in this uh, freehold, so let me quickly run through and see what we can buy. Okay, you have an Arachnids Schrodinger page. Uh, I am considering buying that. It's not high on my list of priorities, but it's definitely something. Displacer and Freezing uh, could be interesting. Freezing could be kind of nice. The only problem with having freezing modifiers on weapons is that um, blood uh, increases the temperature of an enemy. So actually getting them getting them below their kind of brittle point is a little little bit tricky sometimes. <gasps> Hot damn! You know the sad thing is I don't think we're going to be able to afford. Either of these. The, the Neutron Flux is always a risk. It is fun though. 
cloning draft i actually would prefer the cloning draft right now to the neutron flux um before i commit to buying that let me just check the kipper here also the only thing i would probably prioritize over the cloning draft is a drop of nectar let's see how much money we're holding Selling just like absolutely everything. Yeah, without snake oil there, it's kind of... It's kind of hard. I should definitely be equipping my slogs. Slogs feelers. There we go, let's see. I didn't change the price at all, I don't believe. I'm just going to leave the night vision goggles there to sell, just for curiosity's sake. And any of these chem cells that are low, and the lead acid cell I'm not going to use either. We can get rid of Dreadroot Tuba. Should probably save those for now. We can start getting rid of Witchwood Bark. Since we are now using Herbries. Come on. Give me the cloning. Well, we can definitely afford the Neutron Flux. That's for sure. Uh, we don't need the basic toolkits any longer. Hover Sled I do want to keep on us. Tattoo Gun... Yeah, okay, we can absolutely afford the cloning draft. I know a lot of you probably would like me to do Neutron Flux. Um, I just, I think cloning draft is just better. It's just more better, you know? More, more better. I really do believe that. Of course, it's going to cost me... Actually, you know what? Before we submit this trade, let me remove the... The night vision goggles because I would quite like to hold on to those. And we can go sell the rest of our popper nuggets. Perfect. Beautiful. Delicious. Nutritious. All right. There we go. Big trade there. Big, big trade. Pretty much set us all the way back to having no money. But that's fine. That's what killing uh, enemies is for, right? Stealing their goods and... Spending all of their money. Do a quick run through here just to check what we have. I really don't remember. I, I know the schematics drafters are always worth checking. Two-faced. Um, I think that's actually pretty good. Although I don't know if we can use Two-Faced. Bookbinder. Okay. Kind of glad that they don't have any uh, Schrodinger pages. Because I probably wouldn't be able to... Uh, no. Okay, we need to buy this. Stop everything. Can we really, can we afford that? I think we could maybe just about afford it. We can get rid of one tattoo gun. We don't need two of them. We can also start getting rid of some of these injectors. Um, never going to use the love injector or the rubber gum, probably. Uber Nostrum, never sell. Skulk, we can get rid of uh, one of those. Still Buckler can go. This way droid can also get the heck out of my inventory resonance grenade similarly we have two yonder cane where did we pick up an additional yonder cane i'm pretty pretty chuffed about that actually red root tubers all right we're, we're, we're good we can afford it will it will it be worth it that i don't know i think we're going to try and cook this up immediately there's no reason not to Please proc. 
you don't know, there's a 25% chance of this working. 75% chance of failure. But if it works, which it didn't, it's still worth it. It's always worth buying drops of nectar. We would have gotten plus one to all of our attributes if that had propped. You know what? You, you try these things and you can only hope for the best, right? Jacked, spiked, and visored. Yeah, I think we're about ready to leave. Um, so how about we head over? I want to go check out this historic site up here uh, on the edge of Rainbow Wood. Purely because I want to know if it's actually in the Rainbow Wood. The fact that we have Ooze Rep is going to make it a little bit more doable. Uh, I will take this solar cell. And honestly, I'm going to rip both of these jackhammers apart. Alright. Don't get lost. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna friggin... We're going to become best friends with all of the oozes in the game. Help me, I'm being hit by a server immediately. Is there no justice in this world? Right, let's wait for them to come over here. Mess them up, teach them a lesson. No books, huh? What was that? What was that noise? That was a noise I don't recognize. Grab the uh, the skull cap. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of bookcases with very little books. There we go. The voice of Shekinah. Amen. Praise Shekinah, etc. Et um. Bunch of maggots everywhere. Come on, go go to this big room, my friend. Okay, apparently we are too dumb. This, uh, just... Oh my god, always with the famished. Knew it was worth it. What have you got? Is that any good? No. Alright, let me leave. Okay. Keep moving. Roasted boar. This is a goat folk village. Uh, I normally skip those. But if you guys want to see me kill some more goat folk, I will be happy to. What do we have here? There is a, immediately a corpse. An albino ape corpse. Very cool. Uh oh. Luckily, I have good cold resist, so I shouldn't be frozen for too long. Yeah, there's a bunch of albino uh, ape hearts around here, which is really good for trade goods. There's one here, as you can see. These albino ape corpses, you can um, you can butcher as well to cut them into a pelt sometimes, as you see. Those are good trade goods. You can also cut them into albino ape uh, armor, which is also very nice. Yeah, you see, we got an ape fur hat that time. Help me, I'm frozen. Help me, I'm hobbled. Help me, I'm bleeding. Just help me. Ooh, okay. New quest. Uh, Alright, there we go. Now we're inside. All right, looks like these guys are trapped. I'm seeing a lot of statues here, which is great. We find another historic site. Man. I think we may have found all of the historic sites. Already. Alright, let's uh, smash down this fence so we can get to all of these enemies. 
teach them a lesson. Beautiful stuff. Alright, cool. I think we're good. Oh, crap. I walked into... Oh, no. A legendary Tetra Sludge. Hold on. That was actually a terrible mistake to make. Is this Tetra Sludge going to be friendly, though, is the question? Yes. Huge. Huge and incredible and delicious and amazing. Um, Alright, as long as these oozes are all friendly. This is why ooze rep is so important, boys and girls. I would, I would absolutely die here otherwise, without a doubt. Also, speaking with the Tetra Sludge, it's just cool, you know? Okay, of course, of course... I'm going to have to kill that mushroom. If I kill that mushroom, are these guys going to get annoyed at me? Yes. Oh, no. I didn't want to see that. All right. Sprinting time. We'll have to come back. We cannot be fighting sludges. They will forgive us. But that mushroom is in a very, very bad place. Anyway. Okay, this is indeed in the Rainbow Wood. Um, let's see if we can find this historic site. If we take our time, we may be okay. Although I will admit, this is the closest we've come to doing something stupid so far in this entire run. And by that I mean, if something goes wrong out here, it will go badly wrong. Okay, we have regained our bearings, which is interesting. Looks like there might be a lava weep there. There is indeed giant lava weep. You can make a lot of money with that if you have the right things. Okay. A droid. What are you doing here? You are a mechanist convert. Hmm. Are you accompanied by anybody else? I guess we can all explore. Um, the problem with getting lost here in the Rainbow Wood is that uh, you'd never really know whereabouts you are in the Parasang. So finding the historic site that we know is down here is not going to be easy. Because instead of going to the center Parasang or the center square of a Parasang like you normally would, uh, you get put randomly uh, into one of the nine squares that make up a parasang. So, I think if we if we just go back up here, and we go back up one more time, and one more time again, and one more time again, what you want to do is you want to go to the edge of the jungle, find where the jungle... Oh, here we go, we found it. Lucky. Okay, there's a bunch of goat folk here. A uh, bunch of quartz for baboons. I'm seeing a lot of goat folk sewers. Um, this this could be a tricky one for us. Um, in complete honesty, if we poke our head up, come back down, try and bait them across the uh, the map boundary. Also, I'm a little worried about seeing Svardim. As long as it's just the uh, the tiny little Svadim and not the uh, the elves, we should be fine. That is not what I wanted. Who just cast confusion? Okay, there's a shaman here. Do not want to be confused in a place like this. Oh no, we've been bonded as well. Okay, where are you? Where are you attacking me from? Oh, uh, being bonded is so bad. And I'm confused. Okay, I'm no longer confused. Um, We need to kill this guy. 
This is Bara Bara Mama Soul Drinker. We need to kill this guy as quickly as possible now because we are being siphoned. He's uh, he's healing every turn and he's also stealing our health. And we got to take him out ASAP. There we go. Huge. Crabs are now indifferent to me as well. Which I don't care about. Oh. Last thing you ever want in this game is being confused whilst being siphoned. That is like a, a guaranteed death sentence. There's a grave robber here. There's all kinds of interesting enemies here. Can I come down here and just grab my breath? Right, you clearly have a laser pistol. Probably over overloaded laser pistol. Okay. Let me heal. Let me cook. You see now the sludges are forming in the primordial soup. Very cool. Not having to deal with them is the only reason we're here. You've got an Eigen Rifle. Incredible. You've got... <gasps> Holy crap. What are the chances? And it is an overloaded laser pistol. You have just... You're just carrying some polygel. The luck. The incredible luck. Uh, give me that. Give me all of this. The Eigen Rifle is a great weapon. You have some fermented yonder cane. You have wild rice. Holy... And you have a pickaxe. Wow. I've never been more happy with killing a... A, a grave robber. Anything that we want to immediately use our poly gel on. We could clone this gun. Which I don't think is worth it at all. Similarly, we could uh, clone the folded carbide wrist blade. Which again, it seems like a huge waste. Um, we do have the cloning draft. We could turn one cloning draft into two if we really wanted. Um, let's equip an Eigen Rifle. And, um, let's just take our time here. This, this is already, we're, we're only on the surface and we're already finding some really crazy stuff. An engraved plaster for bonnet. That alone is going to be worth, uh, quite a bit of money. So as long as we take our time here. I can't believe we just found polygel just sitting on that guy. The best thing about that, honestly isn't even necessarily finding the polygel. It's the fact that we have now identified what metamorphic polygel looks like, which means we can um, we can find it a lot easier going forward. Let's try and clear whatever the hell we find up here. Could you imagine this would be, by the way, this would be completely unfeasible if uh, these guys were attacking us. These are the worst things to fight in the game. Uh, Alright, these grave robbers up here are going to be incredible for loot, but they're also going to be kind of annoying. If I can get some of them to follow me, we just, if we just stand like here, are you going to follow? You are going to follow. Well, you're going to shoot me from a distance, but you are technically following me. Alright, you're going to try and throw grenades at me. Big mistake, bozo. Here we go, we got the stun lock going right there on that guy. You can see we are, we are attempting to attack with our folded carb light. It seems like this guy has some decent armor, which is, um, yeah, he's got Christ still shard mail on. Still, he's getting messed up. He's still stunned. There he goes. And what about you, my friend? You are significantly weaker than your buddy was. Alright, what did we get this time? Stun gas grenade. Can't expect, obviously, to pick up polygel from every single one of these guys, but, um, you know, floating glow spheres? Those are money. Those are a lot of money. More overloaded pistols. 22 drams of wine. 
and some more fresh water. I mean, this is just free money at this point. I'm really, if we can get more of these grave robbers, I'll be very happy. Plaster for sneakers, again, money time. Flexi vest, money time. Shard mail, heavy, but also money time. How many times can I say money time before it gets annoying? Let me know in the comments. Copper nugget, silver nugget. More water. There's no reason not to take that just at the moment. You can always drop it if it gets too much. Um, incredible. All right. As long as we don't uh, piss off these uh, oozes, we are we are golden. Which is why I'm not shooting my new eigen rifle just yet. By the way, because eigen rifles uh they fire through enemies typically. But like we could be in for a for a long historic site here, but regardless of what we get, it's worth it just for the items. Look at this. Some crystal boots. What are we currently wearing? We're using chain boots. Okay, so let's definitely equip those. And another eigen rifle. You love to see it. Only thing I don't want to do right now is walk. Oh my lord. Um. Jeez. Oh, the only thing I don't want to do, please don't hurt me, is walk into. Oh, come on, dude. Let me charge. For the love of God. I think this Quartz Fur Baboon is supposedly fighting these sewers, but it's not. Yeah, okay. I'm just getting blown away by the grenade. There we go. Please. Thank you. Alright, that's all I wanted. Anyway, the thing I'm... Okay, you've got... Freezing ray. No, you've got some kind of freezing... Weapon. You must have a... Um, a freeze ray. That's actually terrifying. Okay, hated by the seekers of the sightless way. That's very interesting. Um, let's try and break a little bit. There we go. Keep peppering these guys. One down. Alright, that freeze ray could pose a problem if we can't get close enough. You fool. Oh no, I'm confused, but it doesn't matter. I know exactly where you are. He does have electrical generation, which is scary, but we have prevailed. Um, the seekers of the site this way are now indifferent to me. That's uh, That's an interesting one. That's very interesting. That doesn't happen very often to me. Uh, let's heal up. And uh, let's keep looting here. It looks like there's another Elastin skin suit. We'll grab that. Okay, I don't think I hit any of these sludges, which is great. Sturdy Isakar rifle. Tear that apart. Alright, let's go see what these guys dropped. This is going to be a freeze ray, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Again, this is just more money. This is money time. Welcome to money town, baby. Oh, I believe we also have a historic site that I didn't... Yeah. They're all very close to the freehold. Oh, there's one right next to Jopper as well. Okay. Well, you know what we're doing for the... It's assuming we survive here, that is. You know what we're doing for the next couple uh, episodes? Is we are going on a historic site rampage. We are going to get all of the relics we can get our hands on. This is a, this is a pretty difficult historic site. But I have a feeling that it will be worth it. If we can prevail. Yeah, look at all of these oozes, man. This is actually insane. This is my worst nightmare when it comes to Caves of Cud. It's having to deal with oozes. 
Right, what do we have here? Phase adaptive scope. Very cool. That's actually a really nice uh, cybernetic. It's a shame that we obviously can't use them. Right, looks like we are done on the surface. Let's go. Let's see what we have down below. I would love to encounter more grave robbers. I'm going to pass a few turns here, see if anybody comes to me. Hello? Okay. Goat folk. God, I hate these guys so much. Luckily, we can kind of melt through the goat folk at this point, but the sow is still... Oh! Alright, what's your shtick? Baraha Soul Drinker. Admired by crabs. For making a... Oh, he's a poet. Okay. Well, you know what we say to poets in this place. Level 22, baby. We're now disliked by crabs. Okay. Fine by me. Um, let's start working maybe on, on a horn or maybe double muscled here. Uh, I think our honor stimulators are out of juice. They are indeed. Let's put some new batteries in these. Can't wait until we have like nuclear cells and things. It's going to be incredible. Let's go for... That's one extra strength. Yeah, we'll go double muscled for now. Um, and then I think I will save my points. We could spec into uh, a ranged tree. Might not be a bad idea. Snakeskin armlet. Let's take that. Let's take this flexi vest. Help me. Good stuff. A gaslight chisel? Cool. Okay. Heal up. Keep moving. I'm, a, I'm very much a full clearer in this game. You know? I like to know that I've annihilated the whole map before I move on. Another pair of night vision goggles. That's really great. Reherbery. You know I love it. Um, okay, I suspect there may be more stuff hiding here, but let's just keep moving. Who knows how deep this place is. Okay, we immediately get frozen. This is not a very good situation to be in. Oh no. Okay, so there's clearly a, a legendary here that throws us with cryokinesis, and now we have to deal with a goat folk sower. Um, let me skip one turn, and let's see where we need to get below minus 100 to defrost. So let's skip one turn, just see what happens. Okay, I think we might be, we might have one turn here of being hit. Okay, he blew himself up, that's actually incredible. You gotta stop with the freezing, my friend. It's too much. He's got freezing ray. Hated by dogs for burning one of their leaders. Jesus, this guy's a real piece. Oh, I hate this. They've got freezing ray and cryokinesis. This is my actual nightmare. To be permafrozen like this. Um, Do I have... Where are my tonics? Do I have a blaze injector? Uh, I do not have a blaze injector. I also don't have any lava on me that I can pour on myself. I can't remember if luminous horse rooms, they give us cold resist. I don't know if that's going to be helpful. I guess it doesn't hurt to try. Come on, please, please, please. I just want to go upstairs. There we go. Hit him with a flurry. Eaten with a sting. It's got to be over for this guy. Poison bleeding poisoned. Love it. Okay. 
That was a potentially really bad situation. We do seem to be fine. I'm going to just keep waiting here for anybody to come around the corner. Oof. You know when you get that terrible feeling that you're kind of pushing your luck? Well, let's just say uh, I have a I have that feeling right now. Let's not forget we're only like level 22, I think. Um, and yet here we are. Let me just go up here and eat. I'm gonna try and cook us a recipe that will. Fine, I'll go over here. Uh oh my lord. You see? Ah, it's because these losers are here. God, I hate this. Apparently there is a mod that allows me to put a campfire down anywhere uh, that somebody told me about. Thank you very much. Um, we will absolutely be installing that. Let's go fire ant, gaster paste, and can't have it all again. That is one of the worst. Just give me any old mill. Okay, there we go. Alright boys, let's get back to this. Um... So let's not forget, we, we picked up some polygel, man. That's crazy. And we have a bioscanning bracelet as well, which is really nice. Okay, somebody just tried to confuse me. They failed. Hello, Quartz Fur Baboon, I am your friend. Where'd he go? Okay. The good thing about fighting the sowers down here is that obviously we have a lot of cover. Um, one of my most infamous deaths of all time though involved fighting goat folk sowers underground and turns out that if there's a bunch of uh, if they drop their sower seed which are the grenades they use uh, on the floor after you kill them and another goat folk sower throws a grenade on top of them you get a terrible chain reaction explosion that can annihilate you. Don't ask me how I know that. Alright. What do we got here? Elastin slippers. We'll, tap. we'll grab all of this good stuff. Uh, the rank fangs. I'm just going to leave. Look at that throw. I mean, it's actually insane. The, the the distance that these guys can throw, regardless of if you're behind a tree sometimes. It's twisting my melon, man. Alright, let me heal. We should be friendly with that humor. We are. That's also a big relief. Humors are one of my least favorite. Flexi weave chainmail. Interesting, but I'm going to leave it. Never mind, my guy automatically picked it up, even though I didn't want that. All right, we have another legendary here. This is Rara Ra, Soul Drinker. Hated by fish for impersonating one of the leaders. This guy likes to cosplay as a fish. Interesting. He also has light manipulation and adrenal control, which means I'm not worried about him at all. He's currently stunned to high heaven. He does seem to have a lot of health. He is still stunned. Alright, you are no longer stunned, I believe. No, nope, you're still stunned. Interesting that he can hit me with light manipulation. Um, I think that's how we are losing... Health here is through light manipulation, even though he's stunned. Alright, that's huge. They love us. Uh, a skull conjector. Cool. Anybody else? Uh, we'll grab all of that, sure. Can we find the stairway down? What do we just pick up? 
Ooh, it looks like there was a, uh, yeah, a guy died here. Now, we are over-encumbered. Uh, we definitely have to pick up the plaster for jerking, unfortunately. Uh, in terms of stuff to drop... What do we have here? A nulling club. That's garbage. Drop that. And we have re refractive plaster for sneakers. Okay. Um, the ape heart doesn't weigh anything. We could definitely do with preserving some food. Can I get away with putting a campfire down? I cannot. Right. Drop the sower seed. Simple. Drop all of them. That just about puts us back there's another legendary here oh no just like by insect insects for slaying one of their leaders gotta be careful because if these guys have something like disintegrate it could be game over if you remember if you watched my last series you know exactly why looks like we're good though we're just farming rep right now Grab the silver nug. Honestly, the prayer rod, just disassemble it right now. Banner of the Holy Rhombus. We just picked up some raw goat meat, which is, of course, putting us over our weight limit. No, 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 drop. Let's go to the campfire. There you go, that saved us a little bit of weight. I wish I could stop my guy picking up the sower seed. A vibro blade. Very, very nice. Oh, damn, whatever that was, we broke it. Uh, we can repair it. How much for... We have a catch-22 here, isn't it? Like, you can't identify it because it's broken, but you also can't repair it until you identify what it is. It weighs a lot, which kind of makes me think it might be worth taking with us. Let's uh, let's drop all of these sower seed. And let's start dropping... What we drop? The fuller right more can go. Pick this up. I want to I wanna get this repaired. All right. Looks like we are good. Let's move down to the next layer. We have just killed a horn blower on the stairs. All right, we have a legendary right here. This is ah soul drinker. Hated by arachnids for reprogramming their robot. Okay. That is exactly what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> Oh. These don't have anything scary to use against me. Okay, we we're, we're keeping the legendary lock uh stun locked. And the sowers don't seem to want to throw grenades at their boss. Iraq, there we go. Now they're throwing the grenades. Oof. All right, we just about got away with that. I don't know what got destroyed there. They probably destroyed some decent loot, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. All right, let me heal up. Okay. What do we have? Okay, our guy's going to pick that up. I really don't want him to, but he will pick it up because uh, it counts as a, as a legendary item. Okay, we are now over encumbered. Yeah, I think we we may have to like leave and then come back. If we just go back to, what do we drop here? If we just quickly go back to Ezra. Like, let's rip this apart. Let's go back to Ezra real quick, drop our stuff off and come straight back. We have a recoiler, so it won't take us long. 
Yeah, we can't use it with hostiles nearby. Come on, dude. There's nobody nearby, for fuck's sake. There we go. That wasn't so hard. Alright. First thing I want to do, then, is drop this chest. Before we do anything, let's just see if these guys have anything on them. Uh, you do have some things I'm curious about. You have a flawless Crysteel Battle Axe. That's also quite nice. Although we are... We, we could combine Battle Axes with... Um, that actually might not be a bad idea for us to combine Axes and Cudgels together. So you can get both the Stun and the Cleave effect. Now, of course, we can clone Sixru again, and I probably will do that. For now, what are we? What are we currently using for our weapon? We are using two two-handed folding carbide hammers. Um, I think you know. I think we do grab this flawless battle axe, and we go for both. Um, the stuns from the cudgel and the cleaves from the axe. We have a lot of water on us right now. Let's remove this because this is our lowest uh, to hit chance up here in this upper right hand. We will put the Crystal Battle Axe here. Let's just check. Uh, chance to hit is 72%. That's really good. We have one hand free right now, it looks like. Um, which we can put here. What what do we have that we, we could put in this hand? We do have another... We have a folded Carbide Battle Axe. You know what? Let's go with this. Just so we have... Um, temporal Fugue. There we go. And then for now, I'm just going to put everything in this chest. Including our polygel. I think uh, with the polygel, there's a few things we can use it on. Namely, um, cloning, cloning our cloning draft. Or we can use it uh, to clone maybe the flawless axe that we just picked up if we want two of those. That seems like a bit of a waste. In my opinion, I'm going to take the, uh, the chain pistol with me. These albino ape pelts weigh a lot. So let's drop those. We can also put the wine in here for now. There should be more than enough space for us. Um, you also have this small trinket here, which I'm kind of intrigued by. Probably not going to be anything as nice as a um, as a nuclear cell. It might just be like a I don't know, a, maybe a, a thermodynamic cell or something. But we can uh, we can absolutely buy that just to see. It's fine. We have too much water, so. See what we picked up there. Obviously, the sphere of negative weight, and this is it's a combustion cell. Okay. Well, let's go back to the historic site. Finish it off and get it done this episode. Um don't remember how we get there. Oh, we're already here. Okay, perfect. We must be getting close. Ah, yes. There is somebody down here. Go folk bully. Pass a few turns here. Let everybody come to me. D 
Okay, we still get the stun. And we should also be getting... Uh, I think we have... We actually don't have cleave. Yikes. Alright, we should buy cleave ASAP. As ASAPly as possible. Because being able to take away enemy's armor is going to be so freaking good. Not to mention there's a there's always a slight chance to dismember. Even if you can't actively use the ability. Okay, we that rocket turret's gonna be be a bit of a problem for me. Just bring this guy over here if we can. There he is. Trying to trick me, huh? that. So the rocket turret uh, always scares me a little bit. Luckily it's not very accurate. I'm also worried about getting trapped in the open here um, with a goat folk sower or something. Okay, that's exactly what we don't want to happen. We accidentally killed the uh, legendary there in my panic to run away. <laughs> okay. Pretty happy about that. Here comes the sowers. Oof. One down. Uh, that last guy is probably going to be really annoying. So let's just try and run towards him as quickly as possible. You got to stop, dude. You ha actually have to stop. Alright, you're all out. I got a little cocky there by not healing. I probably should have used an Herbary. I, I was definitely considering it, but I thought, you know what? We, we got this. We freaking got this. Wait here. Let them come through one by one. And of course, have all of the loot destroyed by the friggin' server, as usual. He blew himself up. Okay, we have found the chest. I do see a stairway down here, which makes me think maybe there are more than one relic in this historic site, which can happen. Happens actually fairly often, I find. Let's go for can't have it all, and I think we have some wild rice. But truly random. And if you take damage, there's a 40% chance you emit a ray of frost. Okay. Let's see. Before we pick anything up, let's just see if there's any more guys here. Okay, it looks like we are we are indeed free. Let's see what's in the chest. <gasps> yes. Okay, well, we found uh, the target for our metamorphic polygel. This is a legendary uh, Eater's Nectar Injector, which gives us a plus two to a random attribute or to or gives us two mutation points. Whereas normally I like to rip apart uh, Eater's Nectar Injectors to get the drop of nectar, this one is not worth it. Uh, this is plus two instead of plus one, so we are going to clone the hell out of this every time we get cloning uh, Metamorphic Polygel. And like I said, it does appear... Okay, that rocket turret blew itself up. But there's another one, of course. It does appear like uh, we... Oh, that always makes me nervous. We have grabbed at least one of the relics. There may be one more. And I knew I saw a flowing glow sphere over here. You can't... You can't trick me. You know what? Um, I'm going to end here. And next time, we are going to go downstairs and see what's down there. And then, assuming we make it out alive, we're going to clone the Eater's Nectar Injector we just picked up. And we're uh, we're going to hopefully grab some attribute points. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoy Kukat's Quest and Caves of Card content, remember to leave a like down below. It helps me out a ton. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.